Uh, we've got Rotu Suduri for Global Business Outlook. Rotu, good morning. How's it good going? Good morning, Rafai. Yeah. Good morning, Good morning, Ayo. Good morning, Mr. K. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Good no, to see you. No, this is taking for granted. Why didn't you greet us like that? <laughs> no, I didn't. I said good morning, Ayo, Rafai, Mr. K. It's good to see Mr. K on, on air, you know? And shout out to, shout out to Doctor. Um, all right, very quickly, just go after just rifle through this. Asian stocks are down. What else is new? China economic worries continue to weigh down. I'm really worried about what's going on with China. And uh, we saw exports with Japan falling, exports from Japan to China falling 13%. China's weakness is affecting everywhere. People's Bank of China, the, 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 the um, communists, <laughs> the, uh, the leaders are not willing to come forward That's with more nice. stimulus. Uh, it is a communist country now. China yeah. is a communist country now. Um, looking at Evergrande, this is the big news. Evergrande, um, they have a file, bankruptcy filing in uh, America. They defaulted on the dollar debt back in 2021. Liquidity pressure across the property sector in China, $19 billion in overseas liabilities, $340 billion total liabilities, $81 billion in losses in 2021, 2022. They will be having creditor meetings in Hong Kong this month. It is really, really bad. Japan, uh, inflation decelerating just a tad over in Japan. Now, July headline 3.3, that was in line with estimates. Your Core inflation that removes uh, food, volatile food prices, 3.1% from 3.3. Now, Japan has this core, core, where you take out energy and you take out food. That accelerated to 4.3%. That's going to keep the Bank of Japan up late at night. You can see the target there. I always like to put in the target so everybody knows where these central banks are looking. And doctor likes that number. The 2% is always jumping on. We move on from uh, Japan. Bitcoin suffering some big drops over the last 24 hours. This was as a result of a report from the Wall Street Journal saying that SpaceX, I don't know how the Wall Street Journal does this, but they got access to SpaceX financials. And one of the key things there was that they wrote down their Bitcoin holdings to the tune of about $373 million in 2021 and 2022. NASA reply, relies heavily on SpaceX in order to take astronauts uh, uh, outbound. And Elon Musk, this is part of his uh, empire, including Tesla, including all oh, those other uh, companies. Um, so $1 billion in positions have been unwound over the last 24 hours. What are the triggers? Rising U.S. interest rates are a concern in terms of valuations for tech. And then, so you have 26,512. This is a moving thing. I just thought I caught in the last uh, 24 hours. This is a low we haven't seen since March. We move on from Bitcoin um, over to the United States. Mortgage rates hitting a 20-year high. And this is intuitive. If uh, the Federal Reserve keeps hiking interest rates, if you have a, a, a mortgage, your rates are going to go up. So 7.09% is the average rate there. That's the United States. Let's come to Africa. Um, Nigeria, this five billion dollars, <laughs> five billion naira for the 36 days plus the FCT, five billion times 37 gives you 185 billion. My girl Ayo called this a drop in the bucket. Ayo, I'm gonna have to, oh, well, you know, I put Rufai on the spot a lot. I'm gonna have to come for you this one. You know, my girl, and we go, we go way back. So, according to the National Social Safety Net Coordinating Office, there was an interview they gave, I think it was with The Guardian earlier this year, or was it late last year? You got 12.8 million poor household and vulnerable households with 50 million individuals. If you divide that number, 50 million by 12.8, you get 3.9 households, um, 3.9 people per household. So I approximated it to four. So here's what to do, let's do some math. If you divide 185 billion by 12.8 million households, you get 14,435 Naira per household. If you want to divide further, that 14,435 by four people, each person gets 3,500 Naira. And then Ayo says this morning that it's not enough. It's a drop in the bucket. Oh, ho. I, I have to ask you a question. Where do you want the money to come from? If you, how, and how long do you want this program to be extended? I, let's say we extend it for 10 months. If you extend this program for 10 months and do it on a monthly basis from the federal government to each of the states, you get 1.8 trillion naira. That 1.8 trillion naira almost swallows up the 1.9 trillion that the FAC allocation, which is the highest it's ever gotten in history, was distributed to the states. Now remember, it's only 900 billion. They kept 1 trillion to themselves. Now, Ayo has criticized the, um, the movement in the dollar, so has Rufai, so I'm sure Mr. K is too, so has a lot of people. But the, deva the same devaluation in the dollar that everybody was shouting about, that took the dollar from 430 or 460 to 750 is what gave the federal government even more money to share um, to the states, in fact. So look, for the populists out there, for the neo-welfareists, for the socialists, you have to pick a struggle. You can't criticize the valuation of the dollar and then say that the amount of money that the federal government is distributing is not enough. Where do you want the money to come from? Oh, by the way, the federal government has reintroduced subsidies. And so the subsidies now is going to put more pressure on the fiscal structure of the government. 
pick a struggle. Earlier, Rufai was talking about agriculture and the be, be rice. Rufai said increase price uh, hectare per yield, increase uh, the seedlings, increase this, increase that. Where is the money going to come from? Pick a struggle. The federal government fiscally is encumbered. And so the reforms to remove subsidies, to devalue, are supposed to have benefits for the long-term long outlook of the country. So you have to pick a struggle. If, look, the 5 billion that is being distributed now, 14,000, let's go back to that graphic, 14,000 Naira uh, per household, how, far, how long is that going to last? How long? I've talked about population in this country. I've talked about the birth, birth per capita in Nigeria. It's one of the highest in sub-Saharan Africa. We have a rising, popul increasing population, putting more pressure on the welfare, of, on, on the social structures of the state. The state doesn't have enough money. 96% 96 revenue, or 96% um, debt service to revenue ratio. Rising 20 point, 23 trillion Naira um, ways and means. 47 trillion Naira total public debt. Where is the money going to come from for these palliatives and everything else everybody's asking for? I throw that question to the audience. And then um, the CBN has introduced a new price verification system. It's going live August the 31st. This is for Form M, for imports. So what the CBN says is that if you are importing items into the country, essentially you will use this Form M to verify the price. So it is supposed to make sure it is a check on corruption. If I'm importing a car into Nigeria, I can't go and claim that the car cost me $100,000 when in fact there's a price verification system that will benchmark that price against what it's supposed to cost. So uh, that's that. Transcorp has acquired a 60% stake in uh, Echo. Uh, the Abuja Disco, uh, AEDC. Um, Christopher Eze Fulukwe is the new MDC of AEDC. He was the former MDC of Transcorp Power Limited. The board of AEDC has uh, approved this. The regions that are going to benefit the FCT, uh, Niger, Kogi, Nasara State, Transcorp, of course, Group Market Cap, 540 billion, Plover, 540 billion. And of course, this is supposed to improve electricity supply. So, Tony Lumelu making more moves in the power sector. That's our updates globally and across Africa. Okay, so a quick reaction will be, I don't like getting hoodwinked by the dangers of the single story neoclassical neo economists will always make. Take, for instance, this clip we watch. It's a danger of a single story. Because the other part of the story they won't tell you is the fact that if there's actually supply and enough supply that goes to the bank, the same person too can go to the bank and get the forex at a good rate, like people used to get BTA. All right? But the reason why speculators are going at it is because this same CBN decided to go on a float that we told them they didn't have the capacity to do, and they went ahead to do it, and that's why they're going to scamper for money now to be do able to defend. they have the capacity for a fixed rate? Moving on. Now, I as, see he can't answer that. There now, we go as, again. As, no, if you want to, if you have to. Do they wait, have wait, 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 for a fixed Rotus, rate? Rotus, Rotus, if you want to have a conversation with me, go ahead. we will have a pure debate. Yes, they also have the capacity that for a That is a lie. You do not understand it's how this works. The, the reason, why do you think a devaluation Let, let me speak. Rotus, you can, you can, you can see, you can see Rotus, you can see Rotus at it again. You cannot maintain uh, you a fixed exchange the, the rate. Truth is always don't be, misinform people. The truth is always you bitter. You cannot maintain it. The truth is always bitter and that's why they bicker. No, you get that point. Refine, the truth is always bitter, that's why they bicker. Moving on, let me go on the other point. As regards the other point, it's also the danger of a single story. You keep saying things like, oh, the currency, yes, they saved, you know, when they devalued and all of that. Ask me, what's the quality of one trillion naira now compared to the quality of one trillion naira then? What's the point? The value is baseless. The naira has taken a plunge and devaluated. And you are saying the naira will still have the same effect on the economy? So these are the arguments the neoclassical economists make that is not always circumspect. That's just the problem I have with them.